Early on in the fight, Amir Khan was working the body of Kel Brook and then coming up to the head. This was confusing Brook and actually pushing him back. Amir should have been implementing this throughout the whole fight. In this clip, look at those two green circles. These two green circles show that as Amir Khan got rocked, his hands were slightly down just before he threw a punch. Now there's going to be an arrow. This arrow shows that because of this, Amir Khan left himself open to a strong right hand by Kel Brook, which Brook was able to land with ease. Remember, when you're rocked, it is very important to keep your hands up at all times. In this clip, look at that green circle. This green circle shows that as Kel throws his left hook, he slightly lowers and extends his right arm. This allows you to land a left hook on him as that blue arrow shows it. However, Amir Khan did not make the most out of this opportunity. Throughout the whole fight, Kel Brook was constantly cutting the ring off cleverly. By doing this, Brook was able to put Amir Khan under intense pressure, which led to Brook finding openings in Amir Khan's defence. In this clip, look at that green circle. When Amir Khan throws his left hook again, his right hand was not protecting his face, which allowed Kel Brook to land a strong right hand. Remember, when you throw your hook, your right hand should always be on your face to protect yourself from any counters from your opponent. Whilst Amir Khan was on the run, that green circle shows that both of his hands were down, especially his left glove, which should have been up in this situation. This mistake allowed Brook to land another strong left hook. Here in the 6th round, Brook knew Khan was finished so he applied more pressure on him. He was able to land devastating blows which carried huge amounts of power. With Khan constantly getting caught by these punches, the referee stepped in to save Khan from taking any more damage. Yeah. 